fans are coming after Emma Chamberlain after she released her new collection of coffee that seems a bit overpriced and leaving us with many questions. From Reach TV Studios in Hollywood, you're watching What's Trending. It's your boy Andy Lawani here to give you with all of your social media news daily. Now be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and uh, keep coming back for all your What's Trending news every day. Now we're talking about Emma Chamberlain today, obviously the girl online who makes the funny videos with big zoom ins and such, but we're talking about her new coffee line. Now, Emma Chamberlain has been online for a few short years on YouTube. You know, she was with James Charles and the Dolan Twins making videos, and now she's doing her own thing. With her comedic videos online, she amassed over 8 million subscribers. And lately, she decided to come out with her own coffee company called Chamberlain Coffee. Now, obviously, this isn't the first time we've seen controversies online or people come out with products on YouTube because that's obviously a way people make livings online. And here's what's happening in this scenario. In her line, she has coffee bags that are kind of like tea bags. You know, you just put it in the cup and do your thing. Coffee mugs and even travelers for when you're on the go. But the real thing everybody's up in arms about are the prices. If you do the breakdown, each bag of coffee is about $2. They come in packs of anywhere from 5, 10, 20, or 30, you know, bags of coffee, but you could end up spending $60 total on coffee. Well, plus your shipping and taxes, of course. These are almost like tea bags in a sense that have fresh coffee in them. The kicker is that Emma recommends not one, not two, but three, very strong, sounds like it, bags of coffee for your cup of coffee. And if you don't like it that strong, you, I think, might be able to get by. On her channel, she actually shows how to make her cup of coffee with her newly debuted coffee line, of course. And if you think about it, that's $6 of her coffee you just spent on one cup. She's complained that making a French press cup of coffee is actually really complicated and she wanted to make an easy process because, you know, some people don't know how to do it, even she thinks it's complicated, the whole nine yards. But some noted how a French press cup of coffee could cost you maybe 20 cents and even higher end coffee machines like Nespresso and Keurig cost you around 50 to 80 cents per pod to get your, you know, caffeine fixins. Now, this isn't the first time a YouTuber's come out with coffee because, you know, OG YouTuber Connor Franta came out with the Common Culture series, which was music, it was apparel, and it's also coffee. And in his line, he actually debuted the coffee with about $23, $24 per bag, 12 ounces, but it was ground coffee. You could stretch that to your limits, however much you wanted, and it, it worked. But also, fans pointed out, if you do the math and subtract the cost of coffee, her travel tumbler is like $25 alone. Many of her following understand you're really buying into her name on a product she's endorsing, but people still are kind of mad because celebrity endorsements shouldn't be this expensive. Other fans have made their own reviews of the products and they honestly say the taste is mediocre for how much they're fronting for one little cup of coffee in the morning or the afternoon or whatever time of day it is. For $2, I literally am expecting way more. It tastes kind of watery, to be honest. Do you want to try it? Another thing that people are really questioning is if it's fair trade. And fair trade really means is it sustainable and is it ethically produced on the land it's made? And for the workers who are producing it, are they treated fairly? Because Emma hasn't spoken out on this, but she has said it's eco-friendly. Steep Coffee actually produces the Chamberlain Coffee brand and has a similar style of bags and aesthetic, so people are, you know, also calling this bag concept unoriginal. Similar response online about this has been tweets like, she's not bagging Folgers and selling it as her own ethically sourced coffee. That would be a scam. You are paying for coffee from internet celebrity Emma Chamberlain. That's why it's not cheap. Others said, it's really crazy that social media marketing jobs only pay $15 an hour when I could be the next Emma Chamberlain making $60 off of one bag of coffee. I'm seeing a lot of people approving Emma Chamberlain's coffee and although I wanna try that, I can't afford the shipping. Now this isn't a product that's like kind of out of left field for her because she actively drinks coffee pretty, you know, every day frequently, it's on her channel. And she actually did a taste test on Cosmo recently of expensive coffee versus cheap coffee. She did a pretty good job telling which one was the most expensive coffee, but some are claiming that since the girl has expensive taste and expensive taste for coffee, she better step up her quality game if she's gonna charge the public an arm and a leg. Now people are all up in arms about this coffee situation when they go out and pay $5 for a coffee at Starbucks and whatever it fills coffee, just pay your coffee, figure out what you like. If it works for you, it works for you, but just don't pay a lot if you're not comfortable with it. Let us know what you think of Ember Chamberlain and her new coffee brand. If you like it, if you tried it, did you pay the shipping cost? Was it really that expensive? Let us know in the comments down below. For more videos like this, be sure to go over to whatstrending.com and follow me at Andy Lawani and follow at What's Trending on Instagram because it's always the best news for you, I hope, every day.